Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that the Ford Broncos come with a new and improved soft top? Well, guess who's gonna put it to the test? This girl right here. Buckle up, Buttercup! I've had the privilege to have a very early Bronco bill with my 21 Outer Banks. Now, I've upgraded and I have the 23 Badlands. But with this Badlands, of course, you get the regular upgrades of the lockers, aux switches, you know, all that fun stuff. But Ford has made some pretty good improvements to the Bronco overall, and today I'm going to go over a couple of those. But the most important improvement was the soft hat. Of course, you all know I live in the beautiful sunshine state of Florida, but with that, I get torrential hurricane type downpours every single day. One of the biggest complaints from every soft top owner is when you open the window and it's been raining, you get soaked. And I'm talking about like rain just starts pouring in on your lap, but that ends now. There's actually a lot of improvements with the soft top that I've noticed with my 23 Badlands. First off is Ford came up with what I would call like a gutter type seam. This seam was not on my Bronco that I had. Now to say that it was on no 21s and 22s, I don't know, but like I was one of the first couple weeks of Bronco builds. My soft top was completely different from a lot of other 21 and 22 builds, but from what I recall, this soft top is new for 23 and boy, is it an improvement. Now, since I live in Florida and I have that daily rain shower, you can understand my frustration of when I would go through a drive through and be under a canopy, but roll down my window and the rain and water that's on the soft top would just dribble down and then make me look like I wet my pants. That seam prevents that water from dripping down, or should I say pouring down in your lap. And that's one of my favorite improvements about the soft top, but the improvements don't stop there. One cool thing that Ford offers now, since the hard tops are such a constraint item, they let you go ahead and order the soft top, but have your Bronco ready for a hard top. What I mean by that is it's wired for a hard top. If you come over here, I can prop this up and you can see that you have all of the wiring and stuff for the hard top for your windshield wiper and things like that. It's nice having that bracketry set up and all of the wiring. So if I ever decide I want to go with a hard top, I can easily do so. It's not in my plans because I am a huge fan of the soft top. That isn't the only upgrade to the soft top. I actually think this soft top is much quieter than my other one. So let's go in for a ride. I got the DB meter and we're going to check it out. What's funny is my second Bronco video that I ever posted on the channel was a soft top review. So I thought it was really fitting to go ahead and do an updated soft top review of the new soft top. I do have a DB meter now. Now, unfortunately, when I first did my original soft top review video, you know, I didn't have this, but I do have 30,000 miles of driving in my other Bronco and about 2,500 miles driving in this one. And it is a noticeable difference on how much quieter this one is. Not only that, my old Bronco did have that annoying whistle, which I think ended up being the grill. That's what the rumor was. I don't know. All I know is that when I lifted my Bronco, that whistle went away. When I put my Bronco back to stock, that whistle was louder than ever. So whether it was the grill, some people say it was the mirror caps, it wasn't just the whistle that made all of the soft top noise. We'll get a DB reading on what the noise level is in this Bronco with the new soft top. And just like last time, if you look at the clouds, it looks like it's gonna rain, so I may actually be able to give you a real life review of how good this new gutter system works on the soft top. You all better know that I freaking love you because it's 90 something degrees out and I don't have my air conditioner running because I'm trying to get true results for this DB meter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get up to about 35 miles an hour, set the cruise control. That way we have a steady pace and then I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna check out the DB meter. It is not a windy day here in Florida, so the wind noise in general is going to be quieter than if it's a windy day. Now let's head to the highway so we can get some readings on the DB meter at highway speeds. Now it seems that I surprised quite a few of you that I ended up with another soft top Bronco. You shouldn't have been surprised because I'm pretty sure I told you I was getting a soft top. Even though the first soft top was a little noisy, it wasn't that bad. By the time you turn the radio on and drive it for a while, it's completely tuned out. I don't even recognize a difference. But I love the soft top because of the ease of putting your top back at any moment in time. 
and living in Florida, like I've talked about a couple times already, you never know when it's gonna rain. So I could have my top down, headed to the beach, and then all of a sudden it's gonna start raining. Well, I can just pull over and put that top back up. If I had a hard top, that's a whole thing. You gotta store it um, either in the back or in the garage. And I, to me, it's just not as convenient. So I still love the soft top, highly recommend it. It looks like we're gonna be headed into the thunderstorm. Very convenient, I must say so myself. I did not plan this. However, I love it when a plan just comes together when there's no plan. Here I go, turning off that AC. I'm gonna get up to 60 miles an hour, and then I'll probably go up to about 70 once the speed limit reaches that, but I'm gonna stop talking so we can get the dB meter of what the sound is on the soft top at 60 miles an hour. I think you can tell it's getting darker out. No, it's not nighttime. It's a thunderstorm rolling through. But I'm gonna try to go ahead and get a dB reading of 70 miles an hour before the rain hits. So let's see if we can get up to that. Obviously I'm driving, so I'm not reading what the dB meter says at the moment, but I feel like it's 70 miles an hour. There is more wind noise with the soft top, which makes sense. Look at that. The rain is starting to fall. <laughs> Once we get a little bit more into this rain system, I'll go ahead and roll down my window and you'll see that that infamous stream of water that normally pours into your lap is no longer there. Man, I could not have planned this any better. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. I'm going about 55 miles an hour and it's raining, so let's go ahead and get a DB reading right now. But this should show you the difference between this soft top and the old soft top. I made a reel one time when I was driving through Taco Bell and I opened up the window and it was just a stream of water and it looked like I peed myself. So to me, this is a huge upgrade for the soft top. Obviously, if it's raining out and you put your windows down, you're likely to get wet. But the way that the stream fell into your lap and got all over your clothes was just not a good experience. So I think Ford listened to everyone and made that improvement to the soft top, which is an A plus in my book. Along with the soft top, I did notice a couple other minor changes with this Bronco. First is the steering wheel. This is a really nice leather steering wheel. Feels different, feels great. It's kind of smushy and soft. Uh, kind of hard to describe. Uh, I don't know if that's a Badlands thing in general or if the Broncos got an upgrade with the steering wheel. This steering wheel is far better than what I had on my Outer Banks, which I would call more of like a vinyl, slippery kind of feel. This is very grippy, soft, smushy and feels really, really, really nice on my hands. All right, made it back home. It's not raining here, thankfully. Another minor change that I noticed with the new Bronco is the e-brake. My other Bronco, it was up here and you would pull and push like that, but now the e-brake is down here and in different orientation. I was a little curious on why they did that, but after talking to Mitchell Watts, he said that there were a couple people with manual Broncos that would go and do what they thought was the e-brake, but would actually be the hood. And then when you have the manual that's in neutral and you think you press the e-brake, that can only lead to one conclusion. Bye-bye Bronco. I think this has come full circle. It's been almost two years to the day when I did my first original soft top video of Buttercup 1.0. So I thought it was very fitting to go ahead and give you an updated review of the new soft tops on the new Broncos. One other thing I forgot to mention, they did improve these clips in the soft top. It might be hard to see without taking my windows out um, because I know people were talking about their soft top ripping where these clips were at, but now they have like an extra piece of fabric that the clip is attached to instead of the soft top itself. That could have been an early soft top Bronco thing. I don't know. Maybe this has been going on for a couple years. I only can go based off what I had. 
I have been a huge fan of the soft top since day one. Now that there's these improvements with the soft top, I'm even a bigger fan. Now I do live in Florida. I don't have to deal with snow and weird weather. So that may change people's mind to go hard top. I think the soft top can withstand a couple inches of snow. I don't think it's like not going to hold up. I just think it's your preference, but I am team soft top all day long every single day, especially here in sunny Florida. But I hope you find this review helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe, lots of videos to come. And until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup.